Hi again, it's Mark Cruz from Nikon Canada, here to talk to you about the D5100. Now the feature I want to talk about today is the D movie mode. And for those of you that have never explored video in an SLR before, you'll find that it's relatively easy. Take this dial here at the top of the camera and swing it down to where it says LV. LV stands for live view and what happens is you're going to hear a little click. And what that is, it's the mirror of the camera coming in the up position. Now there's no more uh, picture from the viewfinder. It's all through the back of the LCD screen here. Okay. Now, when you're viewing images from the back of the LCD screen, you can do one of two things to focus. You can use your manual focus ring here at the front of whatever lens that you're using, or you can use the autofocus feature built right into the camera. If I go down here to AF, Okay, by default it's on AFS, which stands for autofocus single. Means that every time you focus, you have to press the shutter release here at the back of the camera. Now we don't want that. We want the camera to focus on its own, so we go down to something called AFF, which stands for full time autofocus. Once you hit that and you go back into live view, the camera will actually focus for you. So no matter where you're pointed, Okay, the camera recognizes it and focuses it for you. As you can see here, I'm pointing the camera at these pictures of these faces. It actually recognizes the faces with the face uh, detection and prioritizes the focus to those faces. Really easy. Once you want to record that video, what you have to do is just press the uh, record button here at the top of the dial and you're recording. Now, the D5100 automatically crops out the top and the bottom because it likes to record it in 16 by 9 ratio. This is typically the ratio of our uh, television screens nowadays, and it's uh, recording right now in 30 frames per second. You can also throttle that down to 24 per frames per second for that more cinematic, movie-like feel. To stop recording, just hit the record button at the top again, and you're out of it. Your movie clips can be as long as 20 minutes in length and they all record right to the SD card for easy transport to your computer. This is actually the best video camera that I've ever encountered simply because the quality of the picture. We're talking about 1920 by 1080 resolution. If you put that on your 60 inch plasma screen, it looks tack sharp. You see now there's an external microphone port. Nikon's recently developed an ME1, specifically for DSLR users shooting video with their cameras. Camera features an external microphone jack um, you can utilize the ME1 for, and it also powers the microphone itself, therefore not requiring any batteries at all. This design is small, it's compact, it comes with an L-cut switch to reduce or almost in some cases negate ambient sound, low frequency sound attributed to wind or crowds of that matter. Now, effects is a special effects option on the dial that will allow you to do pretty cool things. And one of those things I'll feature here is called selective color. So what you do is, again, you put it in live view. And what I can do here is I can look at this scene and pick any one of those colors that I want to basically keep in place. So if I look at or focus on, say, pink. All I have to do is hit my eyedropper tool on it. Everything else in the scene goes black and white, while only the pink hues remain. For more information on the Nikon D5100, visit d5100.ca and make sure to visit our other YouTube videos exploring the other features of this camera. Thanks for your time and see you soon.